Hi, and welcome back. We are in my 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range, and we've got an update with features. Yes. So we got update 2025.26.4 and the 2025.26 20, family of updates has new features. We're going to go over it. It's not a whole lot, but it's pretty great. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go into it. But before I do, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. We got a lot of great content, a lot coming up. Uh, I'm, you know, really trying to grow the channel. It really does help. So yeah, here we go. Let's flip it around and see what we got. Okay, so the exact update, 2025.26.4, as you can see, says minor fixes. This release contains minor fixes, but 2025.26 has some new stuff. We've got site info at arrival and audio settings update. So site info at arrival, to improve the site arrival experience, new icons in the charger list now indicate locations that require valet service or pay to park access. Upon arrival, a notification provides key details such as access codes, parking restrictions, level and floor information, and restroom availability. This information is also available on the site card when you tap the site. That's fantastic. So now when you're navigating, it's going to show you exactly what you have to expect, whether it's valet parking, like it says, or pay to park, whatever. It tells you where you can park, what level. This is a really nice feature. It just, uh, I like it. Uh, audio settings updates. Customize your sound with personalized equalizer presets. You can create and save multiple presets to match your listening preferences. Audio settings are now located under controls, audio, and also can be found using the controls search. So if we go to controls, audio, see this is new here. So you go to audio and now you can create a preset. You can give it any name you want. You can say your name, you can say extra bass, you can say podcast, you can say whatever you want that preset to be. You set your settings, save it, and there you go. So you can have customized presets for any person in the car or for any um, uh, like music type or, or, or what you're listening to type. I think that's a great feature. Really, really good one uh, to switch back and forth. Now, it won't auto switch. If you do one for like yourself and one for another driver, it won't go by the profile. Um, but you know, automatically, but you can come in and switch it and put the preset you like versus the preset someone else like. The other nice thing is you can save it. So if somebody gets in here and you're driving and they decide to come in and mess around with your settings, you can just go back to yours where you had it saved. So yeah, so that's it. So that's it. Two nice little features. I really like both. I think they're excellent. I think they offer a lot of um, new functionality. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Again, uh, thanks if you've been, uh, if you're a subscriber. If you're not, consider becoming one. Again, it's free uh, and it really, really does help. All you gotta do is click subscribe, cost nothing. It really helps me out a ton. So thanks again and we'll see you next time.